Aging cell locks in the Hamilton County Justice Center will cost millions to replace. County commissioners approved funding just hours ago, and WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Ottilie is live downtown with a closer look at this project. Madeline? Craig, this downtown justice center has been open for nearly four decades, but according to the sheriff, the facilities here have been largely untouched. She says all the cell door locks will need to be replaced. Several of them have been broken. Some of the prisoners had uh, used cardboard and such to manipulate those locks and broke them, etc. We had to get that fixed right away. On Thursday, Hamilton County commissioners approved money to do just that. Commissioner Reese? Yes. Commissioner Treehouse? Commissioner Summer Dumas. Abstain. $4.2 million. And it is a big cost, we know that, but you know what? The safety of our personnel inside that jail is everything. These corrections officers, they're, 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 they're sick of waiting. Dan Hills is president of a firm that advocates for the corrections officers union. That's almost unimaginable that you have cells that aren't really cells because people can come and go as they please. They're nervous about the, the conditions in which they work and was one of the things that's, you know, really hurting recruitment. And recruitment is Sheriff McGuffey's number one priority. The jail's battled issues with broken elevators and windows in years past. McGuffey says 132 windows have been replaced. Every time anything is used in that facility, it's 24 hours a day. So we do know that the facility degrades. We do know things break. The county received three bids it called competitive to fix the locks. The lowest, about $400,000 cheaper than the one ultimately picked. The county said that bid had errors that prevented it from moving forward. To build a new facility would be far more expensive, far more expensive. The sheriff's office told me they ultimately plan to replace close to 700 cell door locks. In the meantime, the sheriff does maintain that this building is safe and secure. For now, reporting live outside the Hamilton County Justice Center downtown, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.